Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about transpiling a transfer flow model to build on top. In this particular example, we're going to transpile a Keras model into a PyTorch model and build a new model around it. First, let's go on and go and pip install Ivy. I've, I've skipped this so that it doesn't take time. In transpile any model, we've seen how to transpile Torch models. Now let's do the same with the model from Keras, but transpiling it from Keras into Torch and building a classifier around it. As usual, let's start with the imports. Let's first import Ivy, import TensorFlow, because it's the source framework, Torch, because it's the target framework, and NumPy to do some, some operations of the tensors. Now, instead of building our own Keras model, we'll get one directly from Keras. In this case, we're going to use EfficientNet. We can download the pre-trained weights with, with weights is equal to ImageNet, and set the include tab is equal to false to only retrieve the feature extractor. Let's also specify that the input shape is 224 by 224 by three channels, and we have the EfficientNet encoder. Now, we will transpile the efficient net feature extractor to PyTorch using Ivy to transpile and passing a sample T at the tensor with noise. In this example, in this transpilation example, we're transpiling it eagerly because we're passing an argument to the transpilation. The, the, the noise is, is a tensor of shape 1 by 224 by 224 by 3, which is the expected shape of the, of the efficient net encoder, and it's a, it's, it has a normal value, normal distribution valued elements. And we have the torch efficient net encoder is equal to either to transpile the efficient net encoder that we already had with the target framework is equal to torch. And the arguments, the arguments are, are the noise tensor. This is an eager transpilation because we're passing the arguments to it. Let's run this cell. And here it's transpiling it now. To ensure that the transpilation has been done correctly, let's check with new input in both frameworks. Keep in mind that all the functions called within torch efficient net encoder are now PyTorch functions. Let's get a new tensor, which is x, which is uh, which is of size one by one tw by two twenty four by two twenty four by three, and it's an uh, it's of type np dot float thirty two. Let's get the output of TensorFlow, which is the output of the original efficient net encoder, and let's get the output of Torch, which which is the output of the Torch efficient net encoder, the transpiled version of the efficient net encoder, and let's print the the all close assertion of output tensor uh, output from TensorFlow and output from Torch with a tar relative tolerance with the 0 0.1. And running this cell, let's just leave it to, to transpile. After that, this cell is going to run. OK, and the, the old close assertion is true, which means that the, the, the two tensors are, are almost equal, or even equal. Now, we can build our own classifier using the transpile module as the feature extractor, which in here, where we're having the encoder as part of the, the, features, the feature of the classifier one of the, the, the parts of the classifier, which, which is the encoder, and it's, it's connected to a fully connected layer with uh, 1,280 uh, neurons with, with the output of number of classes. And here's the forward pass of it. OK, and, and finally, we can use our, our new model. Oh, I think I added some. OK, cool. And finally, we can use our new model. As we've mentioned and learned the basics, the transpile model is fully trainable in the target framework. You can also fine tune your transpile modules or train them from the ground up. Now let's instantiate the classifier and get the return and the, the type of the return is a torch tensor and its shape is 1 by 7 by 7 by 20 which is the expected output of the efficient net encoder. And that's it. You're ready to, tra to transpile any TensorFlow model, layer or trainable module and integrate it with, within PyTorch and any other framework that we support. And, but let's keep exploring how we can convert trainable modules from and to other frameworks.